What's it look like? Can you see the craters? Uh-huh, can you? Let me see, let me see. Will you two numbskulls give me some elbow room? Hey, do you see any little green monkey men? Do you? Uh-huh, do you? And bananas? Do they have bananas? Just like in that movie, Maniac Monkeys on the Moon. I know a couple of Maniac Monkeys, but they ain't on the moon. It's about these monkeys who go to the moon to look for signs of life. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they come across this time capsule that was sent there from their own planet. And when they open it up, guess what they find? I don't know, but I got a painful feeling you're gonna tell me. They find all these really complicated drawings of machinery. But it's not machinery. It's pictures of them, because they're not really monkeys, they're robots. It freaks them out so much, they go berserk and turn into... Maniac, Maniac Monkeys on the Moon! I'll ship you two off to the moon if you don't shut your banana holes and give me some space! Ah, the moon is such a beautiful sight. I wonder what Congo Bongo looks like from the moon. Hmm, a big soccer ball? with little things running around on it. Wouldn't it be cool if we could take a picture of ourselves and send it to the moon? What a great idea. Yeah! What? A Congo Bongo time capsule. A historic collection of Congo Bongo artifacts that can enlighten future generations. Wow, that is a great idea. Good thing I thought of it. Huh. We've told Funky and Dixie. The only one left Wait. is... Wait! I bet you've got something to tell me. Hey, Candy. Going already? Uh-huh. Bluster gave me the afternoon off, so I can go find a donation for the time capsule. How do you know? Because Cranky put me in charge. What? That's right. I'm the boss. Cranky says so. It finally happened, DK. Cranky snapped. On the contrary, it's the smartest thing Cranky has ever done. After all, I run a big business, don't I? And I volunteered my facilities and transportation for free. For free? That's right. It's my contribution to the Congo Bongo time capsule. I can't wait to see what you're contributing. I need a good laugh. Yeah? Well, the laugh will be on you when you see my contribution. Uh, it's big and important. And it's... it's... Uh, oh. Yes, yes, I'm sure. In any case, don't dawdle. I'm the boss, and I say lift off at sundown. No exceptions. Come on, Diddy. Let's go find something big and important. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's an outrage! How can those Neanderthal apes embark on such a monumental historical event and not invite you? Please, your highness, please. Give me my dentures back. I can't eat nothing but mashed insects. I'm withering away. Don't bother me now. The moon can't wait. They can't exclude me. In all of Congo Bongo Island, I'm the sole perpetrator of malice and evil. I'm that guy. Out cold. Wake up, kangaroo! Wake! Uh, am I? Why does my face hurt? Ah, uh, the moon, sir. Uh, you were ranting and that raving about those monkeys sending that time capsule rocket to the moon. Well, I won't stand for it. I know just what to do. <laughs> Blow their rocket ship from here to Kalamazoo? No, you half-wits! I don't want to destroy history! I want to be part of it! Search the vault! Find me one of my diabolical devices that demonstrates the epitome of my evil genius! I'm going to make my own contribution to their time capsule. <laughs> What streamlining, what aerodynamic lines. You can tell at a glance it's a bluster design. So, <laughs> just what are future generations going to do with those? Work out? This is an historic event, not a garage sale. You're supposed to pick something worthy of Congo Bongo's culture. 
<laughs> I really had you going there, didn't I, Bluster? <laughs> you thought I was serious. <laughs> Who donated a pair of dumb old waists to something so historic? Not me. <laughs> oh, no. Not when I've got something really important to offer. My tie. I'm hardly surprised. You have nothing to offer future generations. I do so. I have something so great, so historic, it'll make your eyes fall out. I just have to find out what it is. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well this is... Uh, I don't... Huh? Hey, cool cat. Like, dig my new skin. Ba -ba -boon! Wow! That's great, little buddy. Did you make it yourself? Yup. <laughs> it's my contribution to the Congo Bongo time capsule. When future generations learn about our musical culture, they'll know that we apes could hip hop, the hip -a hip -a hop, a bebop, and you don't stop. Like you know what I'm saying, Daddy. Oh. No, no idea. But whatever it is, I wish I could think of something that great. It's easy. Congo? Bongo? What you love most about Congo Bongo, baby? The banana trees swing in the tropical breeze as an aging simian snores. Oh, man, Cranky knows all the island lore. Bananas! Bananas! Oh, those mellow yellows. Sun, hot burning rays, waves, lazy days, funky surfing, hanging ten, eleven different ways. So what do you love most? What do I love most? Yeah, the most like banana roast on toast by the Congo Bongo Coast. Lunch with candy on a sandy beach. Swinging tree to tree, vine to vine, passing time. So what do you love the most? What do I love the most? Uh-huh. That's it. Of course. Oh, look, it's Donkey Kong. This year's poster boy for lame ideas. What have you got now? A thimble? <laughs> A brick? Nope. This time I got something really special. In fact. It's what I love most about Congo Bongo. A big, plump, juicy banana. A measly banana. Come on, even you can't have ideas that stupid. Yes, I can. In fact, I have a whole bunch of them. Of all the stupid ideas, they'll rot and turn to mush, just like your brain has. Hi, you guys. Hello, Dixie Candy. Hi, you girls. We brought our contributions to the time capsule. What's that, Donkey Kong? Bananas. <laughs> Have you ever witnessed such a bonehead idea? <laughs> Send a big, rotting, oozy pile of banana mush to the moon. For your information, Bluster, I think DK sending something that means so much to him personally is a lovely idea. You do? Yeah. Yes, well, I should have known. You two always run to Dodo Kong's defense. Perhaps we should take a look and see what's so great about what you brought. So you can make fun of us, too? I don't remember Cranky naming you Inspector of Donations. Touch those parcels and you'll have to open your shirt to eat. Give him your bananas, Donkey Kong. Come on, Dixie. Nana One. I refuse to stink up my rocket with them. What I say goes, and I say those bananas don't go. I've about had all I can take. This whole thing was my idea. My board's going to the moon. Wow, Funky. You're donating your prize-winning surfboard to the time capsule? You know it, Diddy Dude. My only regret is that I'm not riding it to the lunar land myself. That's pretty special, Funky. 
not as cosmic as your bananas, donkey dude. It's those golden plantains that give you the cosmic energy to keep those getters hopping and Congo Bongo Island free. Funky's right, DK. Without your banana slamma energy to protect the crystal coconut, we'd all be taking turns as King Karul's doormat. Well, if my bananas are as important as all that, Cranky should have chosen me to run this, not Luster. <laughs> now, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. No one's home. Okay, then no one's the one I wanted to see. Cranky, I've got to talk to you. Well, you picked the right moment. Listen, I'm... No, you listen to me this time. The time capsule was my idea. So why does Buster get to run the show? Do you have a rocket ship or barrels to send to the moon? No. Uh -huh. Come on, help me hook this up. A film projector? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's not what this is about. There, switch it on. <laughs> Just like TV. Yeah, no, but I can still feel the bumps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this movie in the capsule. <laughs> Karul is gonna make a donation without even knowing it. <laughs> ah, good one, Cranky. <laughs> Future generations will come to know him as King Clown. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on the crystal coconut, Donkey Kong. I've got to get this film to bluster. There's got to be something you could offer. Something really special. Yeah, but what? Something distinctive, something really significant. Yeah, something only the future ruler of Congo Bongo could give. Huh? That's it. I've got it. Diddy! Uh... What? Why don't you go give your jumps to Bluster? There isn't much time left to blast off. Okay, uh, sure thing. Uh, see you later. I'm sick. I'm depressed. I feel awful. I can't do anything with no fangs. Where did Kabul hide my dentures? Stand down, soldier. We're on official business. Yes, sir, King Karul, sir. Oh, it was great. It was like we were on television. Oh, you're very photogenic, sir. Especially in the scene where you stretch out like a bungee cord after getting ejected from the footbridge. <gasps> Not the footbridge fiasco. Oh, yes, sir. All your venomous inventions and other feats of war are being expedited to the moon. <laughs> Every one of your failed plans, your bungee barrel, Candy clone. Shut oh, up! Don't you morons even realize? I'll be King Kafool to future generations thanks to Cranky in that film. Oh, it's an outrage, a catastrophe. Blow that spaceship up! now before the name of Bluster goes down in history. And the name of Donkey Kong. When you didn't come by with Cranky and Diddy, I thought you'd given up. No way. And this is a donation you can't refuse. Is that so? Why? Because I'm not gonna show it to you. I'll put it in myself.
What are you doing here? Why, well, we've come to blow up your spaceship. Thanks for asking. You can't do that. You don't have the right. Uh, but we got the bombs. Mommy! Mommy! Okay, Crusher. On the count of three. One and two. And... Run for our Hey, DK, we're back! You gonna tell us what your great idea is? That numbskull! He's supposed to be watching the... Uh, the crystal coconut! It's gone! Who could have taken it? Oh, no! DK! DK? Yes! He said he found something perfect to put in the time capsule! Oh, he must have been talking about the crystal coconut! Of all the dim-witted, scatterbrain crazy things DK has ever done, this is the limit! Karul! Karul! I brought you a present! Donkey Kong! What are you do- I'm warning you, I better not catch you messing with the time capsule, because it was my idea and it's going to the moon! It's so good to have them back. To the long sight! Should we go after them? Not me. I'm staying here, where it's safe. Uh. Ship. Oh, how will I ever become dictator now without it? I didn't put it there, you twit. Then who did? I should have guessed. You DM the full numbskull! DK, what were you thinking? Have you lost your mind? Why, Why did you, you put it in, in the rocket, rocket ship? ship? I thought it was a good idea. Putting the crystal coconut on a rocket ship and blasting it to the moon is a good idea? Are you crazy, Cranky? That's a bad idea. You didn't put it on there, did you? No, DK. You did! No, I didn't. I hid it somewhere for safekeeping while I went off to write my song. Your song? You mean it wasn't aboard the rocket ship? No! Why would I send the crystal coconut to the moon? It wasn't in there? You idiot! You moron! Thanks to you, my greatest failures are up there for all time! For starters, those dentures are confiscated! So you wrote a song? Inspired by the crystal coconut and now sitting on the moon for future generations. Huh? Must be some song, DK. It is, Diddy. Congo, Bongo Island, we stand brave and true. We'll fight for her honor and Ika Dika do from on top of the
trees, coconuts galore, and so much more. You'll be dancing on the shore. There's no need to think twice. It's not a Guy, that was oh, great. DK. I gotta hand it to you, Way you to cool. go, DK. Very cool, dude. My rocket ship! It dropped off the capsule and is coming back. It looks like it's headed for... Carols! <laughs> well, I thought it was safe here. <laughs> <laughs> 